Hi, this is Sanjay Gangal from ADA Cafe. I'm here with Masha Petrova, CEO and co-founder of uh, Null Space. Hello, Masha. Hello. How are you, Sanjay? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Masha. Uh, uh, tell us about Null Space. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. So Null Space is a new startup in engineering simulation space. So we develop and commercialize advanced engineering software, specifically for simulation of electromagnetics and electrostatics. Okay. And how did Null Space start? Yeah, so we have a very interesting story. You know, you don't just wake up one day and decide to create a engineering simulation software. And <laughs> it's complicated mm -hmm. to simulate real physics in the computer. And so the way Null Space started, we're actually spun out of a defense contractor. So there's a mm -hmm. defense contractor called Iris Technologies in Huntsville, Alabama, that started about 13 years ago. And when they started, they were developing complex cutting edge um, RF technologies for the U.S. military. So you can imagine very advanced RF devices. And the tools that were available on the market at the time and are currently available still, so the tools from ANSYS to SO systems and, and so on, um, we're just not cutting it for the engineering team. So the chief technical officer for IRIS, who is now my co-founder and our chief technical officer for Null Space, decided to develop his own engineering simulation software that would be faster, but just as accurate as the leading commercial software tools available. And so he started to develop Null Space. That was about 12 years ago. And over 12 years, his engineering team perfected the software um, and most importantly, validated it over and over again against actual real RF devices that hmm. parent company Iris Technologies was producing for the military. And so that's how the software started. And then it was ready to spin out because it was a commercially ready product and so this year in march of this year the company was spun out as an independent company called null space okay and uh, what are some of the challenges that null space faced in developing its uh, em simulation software well i think just like with any engineering simulation tool uh you can develop all kinds of things in the computer but mm -hmm. will it accurately simulate reality real physical pho phenomenon or not that's the hard part right so the challenge is how do you make something faster without losing accuracy? And that's something that the technical team focused on the whole entire time, you know, uh, keeping the accuracy at high level, just as accurate as the leading simulation tools out there, or even uh, more accurate, but yet speeding it up quite a bit because the software was built for current um, computational resources, right? As opposed to tools that were developed maybe 40 years ago or more, computational resources were just not available. Uh, Null space was developed natively for parallel cores and, you know, has GPU and CPU acceleration. So that was the main challenge. Okay. And, and what are the key features of Null space EM? So Null space really, uh, Null space, so there's two products, actually, sorry, we have three products. One is the CAD meshing tool called Null space prep that's developed in partnership with a company called Coreform uh, on their tool called Qubit. And then we have our two main solvers. One is for electromagnetic applications for and design of antennas, uh, radars, various RF devices, complicated RF devices, and so on. And then the other tool is called Null Space ES. That's the electrostatic applications. And that's a really key technology for quantum computing, for designing ion traps. So for the electromagnetic application, that's probably easy. You know, So it's essentially um, a tool that could be used in the same space as ANSYS HFSS, um, Dassault CSD, uh, Altair's uh, FICO tool as well, right? But the trick with our software is that it's much faster. So you could do, th and it has a very flexible API. So you could do things like uh, plug in, you know, AI-based optimizers and run optimization loops because the tool is so much faster. Um, you can customize it however you want with the API. So uh, the key probably features of, of the tool are that it's got a very accurate um, solver engine. It has GPU and CPU acceleration that's built into our you know, licensing structure. And by the way, all of our licenses are floating licenses. We don't believe in node lock licenses. Mm -hmm. The three co-founders, um, including myself that co-founded Null Space, all have PhD in engineering. So we don't want to torture other engineers with uh, mm -hmm. node lock licenses. So that's been mm -hmm. our <laughs> philosophy. So CPU and GPU acceleration comes standard, loading licenses come standard. Um, and then there is a compression algorithm, a proprietary compression algorithm algorithm that 
speeds up the simulation itself. And plus some, uh, it's a it's a moment a method of moment solver with some key technology built in that allows it to be very accurate. So you're not losing accuracy, sometimes gaining accuracy um, with your simulations. Okay, and and, and you support multi GPU and multi CPU systems, Correct. right? Yep. Yeah. Both. That's right. Uh, and, and 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 you can get uh, acceleration uh, uh, with with uh, if you use multi cores and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, but even without the use of GPUs, because we run some ben benchmarks against the competitive tools, um, commercially available tools, even without the use of GPU, we still get quite significant acceleration on the CPU acceleration alone. Okay, and uh, what are the target markets for your software? Sure. So right now, the software is developed really for those you know PhD level electrical engineers developing electrically large problem or electrically large devices, RF devices, such as antennas and radars, we need to analyze them and, and optimize them quickly before going to production, um, as well as our electrostatics um, tool, which is developed for quantum computing companies. There's not a whole lot of them, but there's there's getting to be more and more of them. And we actually have a very unique offering in that space. As far as we know, we don't have competitors um, in that space. Um, that allow you to very quickly design and develop um, ion trapped technology for quantum computing. So that's our two kind of hmm. target markets. Okay, uh, very interesting. And why the name null space? Yes, so null space is actually a linear algebra term. I don't know if you're uh, familiar or not, but uh, and I'm not going to even try and explain what that is because my CTO can explain it to you. <laughs> but you know, it is based on a matrix and something with. So I actually have my, our little logo here. Something with when the numbers line up and diagonal in the matrix and everything else is zero around it, and it's significant <laughs> when it comes to uh, numerical simulations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is a standard way of uh, solving. Uh, uh, matrix uh, by, by, uh, by transforming it uh, so that everything is on diagonal. There right? you go. Yes, yeah. you explained it much better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, since we're on the since we're on the names of things, so we our CTO actually designed our mugs. This is backwards for for on the recording, but maybe it says it's let's listen to your mom and mm -hmm. mom sets for method of sol solvers. So, um, <laughs> or, sorry, method of moments. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of mom jokes. <laughs> uh, and uh, what are your company's growth plans for the next five years? That's a great question. So we uh, are no longer pre-revenue. We actually have some paying customers um, and we're looking at possibly, you know, half a million or even a million in revenue next year. We're looking to raise our next series of funding. So we are funded by our um, parent company, Iris Technologies. So we have seed funding from them. And then we are looking for our series A uh, or another seed seed round, depending in the next few months that we're going to raise. Okay. And and uh, what is the best way for our audience to find out more about Null Space uh, on the internet? Yeah. So we have, you know, a pretty active LinkedIn, Null Space Inc., our website, nullspaceinc.com. And we also have a YouTube channel that we just launched where we started to post some tutorials. So if you want to see kind of how to set up Null Space, how to run it, things like that, uh, we are putting out regular videos every week now as well. There's actually a pretty good presentation on there too, uh, where our CTO talks about um, using Null Space for radome design. That it might be interesting to the viewers. And that's also Null Space Inc. on YouTube. Okay. and. Uh, okay. Um, can you also uh, uh, tell us uh, what you do for fun outside work or what is your personal passion? Yeah, well, uh, I am a CEO of a tech startup, so this is my passion and this is what I do outside of work. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I do. I do love um, I do love what I do. And it's just it's just been a blast. I have a great team uh, of co-founders. We have a great team of advisors and it really is a hobby, I guess, as well as work. Um, but I guess when I, you know, when I do carve out some time, I used to be a competitive ballroom dancer back in college. Um, mm. I used to, <laughs> to dance international Latin. And so, mm. you know, in recent years, I decided, hey, I got a life short, you know, and I, I miss dancing. So I picked up uh, salsa and bachata uh, dancing as well, not competing, just because there's no time for that. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's my my other hobby. 
Yeah, the, uh, that's wonderful. And can you also share something about yourself that most people at Null Space uh, who work with you don't know about you? People that work with me don't know about me. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess during pandemic to stay say, sane, I uh, took Muay Thai <laughs> classes. <laughs> so Muay Thai is a Thai form of kickboxing. Um, yeah, I was the only girl, you know, you, and, and then I blew out both of my knees and decided, you know what, I'm just, <laughs> just not young enough to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, uh, well, thank you so much, Masha, for taking time to record this interview. Have a great day and stay safe. Thank you so much, Sanjay. It's been a pleasure. Okay, this is Sanjay Gangal from EDA Cafe.